Good morning, folks. Gorgeous plasma filaments dancing on the limb. We've got geomagnetic storm activity, tons of weather news, and key science findings to close out the week. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day on our star once again dominated by coronal holes. Their faster streams arrived yesterday and continued throughout the day, obviously more coming as they continue to turn through. Now, yesterday we saw the beginning impact of the coronal hole stream, and as the magnetosphere of Earth was beginning to take the impact, the geoelectric disruptions down on the ground were minor only. However, that has developed and shifted this morning to a much stronger induced current and magnetic unrest. Now, these are still one to two orders of magnitude too small to cause major disturbances. They surely are being picked up across the board, aren't they? Now let's look at the solar wind and in purple we see that the plasma speed has stabilized around 600 kilometers per second or just above that. That is strong enough with this density in the stream to produce geomagnetic storms. We crept up into level 2 storm conditions at KP6, magnetometer showing the transition from calm curves to magnetic perturbations by the solar wind stream. Eyes open for more. Folks, it was two days ago that we alerted Western Europe to the deluge coming. France, Spain, Italy have all taken flash flood conditions from those storms we saw slated to roll through. Three dead so far. And not going to improve as in a few days the jet stream dip and strong push will drive Arctic air down into the continent. This is why we are seeing these cold warnings starting to fly the last day or so. It is coming. Meanwhile, the same jet is already twisted and bent over the United States. We know the western side is taking cold and snow, but what's going to run up the other side on the east is a tropical system in the Gulf. It will make landfall today and into tonight, so eyes open in the Gulf states there. Meanwhile, folks, this is the GOES fire return, and north of San Francisco Bay Area, we see the red flashing. It is indeed a tremendous fire, forcing evacuations for thousands of people, all the best to those caught and escaping the flames there. Last little events note before the science, meteor seen a couple nights ago in Nevada showing up on feeds this morning, gorgeous color on that bulloid with the teal signifying high magnesium content in the rock. So folks, this is all China decided to give us. The latest photo of their mysterious moon substance is somewhat less than helpful. I've played with the lighting to pull out some of the bright reflecting specks amidst the material, which they say looks like solidified goo. The imagination is running faster than the information inflow on this one. Let's go to the sun because a common misconception should be removed. Angular momentum of celestial objects is not conserved or constant, a common mistake. In a new work, we find the sun's angular momentum loss due to solar wind outflow using two decades of data. Good update on those numbers there and just a good FYI for everyone. And another good example would be how Earth's orbit is getting about a centimeter or two further from the sun every year. Nothing we're going to notice at that rate and again, just an FYI. Let's use Hubble to transition out into deep space. This is NGC 4194 and they call it Medusa, but it's actually two, a merging galaxy scene, and those mergers will be a cosmic theme today. Because up next we have an unassuming portion of space until you point the X-ray scopes at it and then, good golly, how are you just hiding in plain sight there? They say that each of these north and south groups set to merge are actually two groups, so there are four altogether coming together with two of them already grouped into each of the north and south, and they say that they've already done one dancing pass by each other and have a full merger on deck. Now granted, it's three billion light years away, so that merger has already happened, and we're just waiting for the light to arrive, but alas, they say the final structure will be one of the largest in the universe, or already is, and we just don't see it. And speaking of that, in one of the greatest examples of we don't see everything out in space, a tremendous structure has now been revealed to be a little more than a little bigger than they realized. While trying to 3D model the known massive structure, they found and confirmed enormous north and south extending features. The central square is what they knew. Each yellow oval surrounds double the material newly discovered and angled off we see more structures they simply want to get confirmed by someone else but they're there. And alas, the hubris and confidence of the scientist's sight while only seeing the central square material before was absolute, and yet again, we find they saw only a fraction of reality. Quick little fun attempt to address the massive ancient structure problem. We have been seeing how the first quasars and massive galaxies violate Big Bang timeline models and cannot be explained at such an early age. 
Well, a couple of Harvard scientists here, including Dr. Loeb, are suggesting that perhaps they simply don't know what they're talking about and they aren't seeing those things in deep space. Now that's gotta hurt, but alas, the better explanations come in the discoveries of interconnectedness, the connectivity of the plasma structure, and the dynamics derived therefrom. The more a galaxy is connected to the cosmic web, being fed by its filaments, shocker, the more active that galaxy is. We recently heard a similar story about their size, and now we come to their activity in star formation. And not only does this make sense in the wake of the Caltech, Keck, and NASA discovery that the cosmic web is feeding these galaxies in filament currents, but it perfectly leads to the ultimate conclusion in this paper, that the large-scale structure, the cosmic web, is holding the majority of the mass and material that will end up in the galaxies. FYI, in the larger scale models that's supposed to be mostly dark matter, but it's not. Last note, folks, for those who liked and wanted to just share the mind war or truth crisis portion of yesterday's news show, it has been posted publicly, standalone, on our Facebook page. Folks, Cat does giveaways, shares inside photos, and more on a regular basis, and is gearing up for major giveaway runs here in the next two months, so please give us a follow there. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.